beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. So as you can see, we are cooking today. Okay, if you do not know, I started my keto journey again about two weeks ago because uh, this quarantine period, <laughs> my stomach was beginning to say, Wani be gavona as bras you de go. Wani be gavona as bras you de go. My arms were beginning to say, hmm, baby girl, you gotta chill. Like, just just hold up a little bit. So I decided that I was gonna go back on my keto journey again for one more month. I decided to record my before and afters on my phone so you guys can see the actual timestamps because I like to come with receipts, baby. Not just word of mouth. This is just one week. And this is the difference. I had started it on the 11th of May, but I took these pictures on the 13th of May. And also, I've been doing some home workouts as well. The idea of keto is simple. You eat fat to lose fat. So you take out carbs and you take out sugar and you eat fat. That's it. It's that simple. No need to be overly compliant. Some people, like, kill themselves. Zoom into the abs, girl. Let them see your hard work. Oh, my God. Also, I know I'm probably about to get the, um, you look better when you're fatter comments. Guess what? Don't don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I look good anyway. Any. When I'm fat, when I'm skinny, we good out here. Okay? <laughs> this is the way I like to do my keto. I don't like to do keto long term. I just like to do keto short term to lean out and then I maintain it by intermittent fasting. So on this episode, I'm going to be giving you guys what I eat in a day keto edition. You guys really, really love the one I did last time. I'm going to be meal prepping for the week. So make sure you stay tuned. Try out some recipes if you may, and let me know what you think down below. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell like button down below so you can have notifications every time I post a video. And let us get to cooking. <laughs> So for breakfast, I'm going to be making some keto pancakes. First, I need my eggs, sweetener, almond milk, cream cheese, some cinnamon, baking soda, and coconut flour. I'm going to be using my coconut flour and I'm taking just a cup of that. You can use almond flour if you like. That's even more compliant for you. Then I'm adding some cream cheese to it. You do not have to add cream cheese to your pancakes, but I just like to have the fat intake in my food rather than on the outside on the side. I cracked three eggs into my mix, added a bit of salt and a bit of my baking soda i'm sorry guys i don't really measure when i'm cooking i just be using my eyes and just be you know estimating then i'm using some truvia this is sweetener and this is a mixture of um stevia and cane sugar so it's 75 percent compliant but you can use complete stevia if you want it to be 100 percent compliant i'm adding some cinnamon for some flavor and some almond milk just for some richness I mix it all up together and make sure it's really smooth and then I go ahead to add a bit of water as well and still mix it. You want to make sure you mix and you stir a lot so it comes out fluffy. That's why I use my mixer right here just to give it an extra mm. For my first attempt, I used butter to fry this and I realized that it wasn't sticking together. The mixture wasn't sticking together no matter how much I like pulled it together. Even after I flipped it, it was really scattered and I was like, no this can't be how my pancakes turn out but i wanted to share this part with you guys so you guys see um i decided to go in and add some psyllium husk to my mix to the pancake mix to see if that would help and that really did the difference so this is the psyllium husk i used i'm sorry that i didn't capture it well and i switched from butter to canola oil it's still 100 percent compliant so i used that instead and my pancakes came out so nice so thick so fluffy and they were stuck together <laughs> yeah as you can see, even after flipping it twice over, it still had that fluffy texture to it and it was still stuck together. It wasn't all over the place and scattered anywhere. It was bouncy and it tasted good. Anyway, I just wanted to reiterate that ketosis is just you taking in fat and taking out carbs and sugar from your diet. 
And with that said, a lot of fruits are not allowed on your keto diet because a lot of fruits do contain sugar, but berries are very compliant with keto. You can't do too much, but you can do, you know, just a little bit of berries, any type of berries, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. Of course, avocados are allowed and compliant. As you can see, my pancakes came out perfect and it was just bomb. Now it's time for lunch and for lunch I'm going to be prepping my chicken. Now I just put my chicken in a bowl and I'm going ahead to season it with some pepper, some adobo seasoning. I added some thyme, some basil leaves, some salt and you can season this however you like and however you know it pleases your taste buds. I like to season my chicken a lot so it gets in there. I also add a little bit of sesame oil, some ginger and some garlic as well. Just season this however you like. If you don't like peppers, don't use peppers. If you don't like garlics, don't use garlics. Just do you, but just don't use cubes, seasoning cubes. That's what I learned on keto. So I'm just mixing that up, making sure it gets into the chicken. I'm going to let that sit in the fridge for about 20 minutes just so it marinates well. And I'm going to get my pan and oil it up. I carefully place that in the pan and I pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes on about 220 degrees Celsius. And I did get some of the broth from the chicken to make my sauce with. I'm adding some spoons of yaji. Yaji is just sweet or seasoned pepper and i really really love yaji guys like i'm obsessed with yaji thank you yaji creators whoever you are thank you anyway i go ahead to add some of my fat intake into this sauce like i said you have to trick your body when you're on keto you eat fat to lose fat so now i'm adding some cream cheese to the mix and i'm adding some butter to the mix then i'm popping that into the microwave and as you can see it makes a really really nice sauce and this sauce is actually so tasty guys it's so nice and then it has your sub your sufficient fat intake in it so it's a win-win i take out my chicken from the oven and i just coat it with that sauce and then i pop it back into the oven for about 10 more minutes just so it marinates and it sits well on the chicken like i said before keto you have to just keep away carbohydrates and then take fat you can't really do this and cheat because if you're taking this much fat and you're eating rice on the side or yam on the side you're just going to add weight instead of losing weight so you're tricking your body on keto and doing away with energy sources from carbs and sugar you make your body think fat is the energy source so it targets the fat and it takes out fat from your body and that's how you lose weight so fast on keto you just don't cheat and it works trust me keto works you don't even have to be like 100 percent compliant just don't do carbs you know i won't just tell you not to do carbs without giving you a replacement i really love cauliflower rice for my replacement for rice and it really tastes so good you can either dice it up yourself like the one from the left or you can buy the rice version on the right and it's the same thing all you need to do is to pop it in the microwave for about five minutes you don't need to cook you don't need to steam and it tastes so good it literally tastes better than rice to me like i love it and it's so healthy the fact that it's veggies is just perfect so i'm just gonna serve that up as rice like you see it looks like rice it tastes better than rice it's just you know not carbs and that's the difference so i'm gonna serve that up with my chicken and some broccoli to the side you want to make sure you take your veggies because your skin needs this especially because you're taking so much fat your skin needs the veggies to balance it out so i'm gonna just you know sauce up my riced vegetables with the sauce from the chicken and this tastes so good and the chicken i know it looks like it's, it tastes peppery but it's not yaji is literally sweet more sweet than peppery i'm just adding a little bit of parsley because i'm bougie uh-huh and broccoli is my choice vegetables for the day and our food is ready now for dinner this is so interesting guys trust me on this dinner i'm so proud of myself for this dinner guys it tasted so good anyway i'm using three cheese which is the medium cheddar mozzarella and parmesan together i place a little bit of that in a bowl and i pop it in the microwave for about one minute and as you can see it comes out you know sticky and all of that that's okay i'm gonna pop in one egg yolk and just keep the rest of the egg for later you're gonna use it later i mix that all up together till it's smooth and this is so satisfying to do like it, it reminded me of slime 
weird no okay yes yeah, so i'm just gonna mix that up together until it is smooth this is sufficient fat intake i realized that i like you know making my fat intake in my food rather than serving it on the side like putting mayo on the on the side or putting cheese on the side i like it like inside the food itself so i just use some parchment paper or some baking paper and i just place that on top and i place another one right over it and i go ahead and flatten this out flatten that mixture out together until it is completely flat Now after that, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up. Now mind you, this is my attempt to make keto pasta. So this is my replacement pasta because I'm a pasta girl, I love it so pasta. So you know when I do keto, it's, it's, it's not easy. I place that in the fridge for about 20 minutes and then I pop it out and I separate everything up just so it's nice and just so it looks like pasta, okay? Just trick your mind, trick it. <laughs> remember guys do not be scared of fat on keto this is literally the basis of keto i know in your mind you're like ah, this is all fatty food oh cheese milk all these things oh my god wow anyway i pop that into boiling water and i leave that in for about 20 minutes and it just softens it up and then i scoop it back out and i leave it to the side and i make my sauce now let me tell you it doesn't taste like pasta but it tastes so good it tastes so good it tastes so good guys trust me oh my god i love this dinner now for my sauce mind you i was just attempting to make me some alfredo asian thai pasta because i missed that so i chopped up my garlic my onions and my bell peppers now i go ahead and prep my shrimps just for the sauce Now let's get to frying. To fry this, I'm using my sesame oil. My sister put me onto this and I'm just so in love with how it tastes and it's so compliant. Now I'm adding my veggies the, and I also added some scotch bonnet like I told you guys before. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like half of my onions and the garlic and the scotch bonnet and a little bit of the bell peppers and I leave the rest on for later and I just stir and saute this. My my heat was a little bit too hot, but it still worked out. I add the rest of the egg. The rest of the egg we used from the keto pasta. You remember we used the yolk? So I added the rest of the egg into this mix and I just let it fry with the mix. Then I popped in my shrimp and I let that sit for a minute just so it cooks the shrimp a little bit. I go in with my Asian style vegetables. You can also chop vegetables yourself, but I got it in the pack, so I'ma just use it. Anyway, I had to take out the corn cobs there because I don't think corn is compliant just to be safe. I took them out later on. I go ahead to season this with some salt, black pepper, thyme, and curry, and I mix it and I let it sit again until the shrimp is cooked and the steam is getting into the sauce. Could have stopped there, but <laughs> I needed that splat. <laughs> so I added some almond coconut milk to the mix because I'm just trying to get that Alfredo like taste I got when I used to eat Alfredo pasta. You get me? And I did add a little bit of coconut flour just to thicken this up and i added the rest of the veggies that we chopped in the beginning that's the rest of the onions and the rest of the bell peppers just to give it that crunchiness back i let this sit for like some seconds and i put it off and this sauce this sauce guys <laughs> this sauce oh my god it's so good like honestly even if you're not on keto just try it it was so good i was like wow it tasted so good and it had enough fat intake in it so i served that up with my cheese with my cheese pasta my cheese keto pasta i don't even know what to call it and i put some you know asparagus to the side as my choice vegetables you don't have to eat it like this you can mix and match all these things guys when i tasted this combo oh my god oh my god anyway as you can see here i'm 
eating my rice vegetables with this sauce and then some chicken and my keto compliant detox zobo i'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on that soon and it was bomb as you can see your girl is ready to chow in fact the combo i have is just a mixture of everything else so like i said you really don't have to eat it the way i mix them up you can mix them up however you like because i mix them up however i like like during the week i can mix chicken i can mix something else and just you know insert into me some what are these some green beans I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, greens, beans, greens, beans. <laughs> okay, guys. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell like button down below because I did a whole lot of these videos for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. Follow me on my social media accounts, my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, everywhere. Like we're we're out there. Let's cook together. And if you do try out this recipe, make sure you tag me on Instagram. Any. Anyway. Mm. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I just wanted to say, whoever discovered Yaji, God bless you. God would actually bless you. Goodbye, guys. Spoken, don't